Just a micro update on this uh, pressure test I did yesterday. Um, these two screws are loose at the moment. I've deliberately left them loose. And uh, if I put this straight edge on here, I think it's clear that the top of the lid is straight. Now, if I do these two up tight, like that, I don't know if you can see that, it, it's, it's completely bowed. And uh, also, whereas that is flush there, I've got a great big gap here in the middle. So that is the problem. And I really think that an engineer could have thought of that when they designed this box. But apparently they couldn't. What I'm going to do is put a G clamp on here just to stop that so that I can film the leak from here because I couldn't see it yesterday on the video replay exactly where it was coming from. So we'll try that. Right, I've got the G clamp on. Right, I've released the pressure. Very gentle push now. See if I can see. Ah. Yes, I think it is coming from on the left side, certainly between the metal socket and the plastic box. Not so obvious what's happening. Oops. Yes, in both cases, that's where it's coming from. Ah, but wait. Uh, last time I only tested those lumbar connectors with uh, end caps. What happens if we actually put the proper cables in? I haven't tested that. Let's try this. And give it a gentle... Well, now we can see that air is coming out there for the right hand, the black one, which was the one that I found water in before. The difference between these two cables is that this one is kind of rubbery and this one is PVC, so possibly I've either done the... Um, the thing up too tightly or not tightly enough. It's hard to tell which. This could be a problem with any connector. You'd have thought that a rubber to rubber would be more um, satisfactory, but it seems that it isn't. So that was an additional half turn and it's still leaking from there. And it's still leaking with another, another half turn on that uh, uh, grommet, or whatever you like to call it. 